Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll discuss at before all annotation. Well, we use at before all annotation to mark a method that should be executed once before all test methods in a test class. Well, whenever you want to execute a method that should run once before all the test methods in a test class, then you can go ahead and annotate that method with at before all annotation. So notice here the difference between at before each and at before all annotations. At before each annotation, you know, we used to mark a method that should execute before each test method in a test class. But this at before annotation, we used to mark a method that should be executed once before all test methods in a test class. This is useful for setting up shared resources such as establishing database connection or starting a server. Well, estab establishing database connection is kind of expensive task. And if we establish database connection in each and every test method, it consumes a lot of time. And we typically share the same database connection in each and every test method, right? So instead of establishing the database connection in each and every test method, we can create a method and we can mark that method with add before all annotation so that this method should execute once before all the test methods in a test class. Okay. And in case of starting the server, so we before running the test methods, we typically start the server only once. Next, at before all annotated method must be static. As the method is going to share the resources, so make sure that you, whenever you annotate a method with at before all annotation, you must make that method as a static so that it can share the resources among all the test methods and also it should call before creating the object. Next, it is ideal for expensive setups that don't need to be repeated. All right, next let us go ahead and let's understand this add before all annotation with example. So let's go to IntelliJ IDEA and go to our project and here go to annotations package and here we have before each demo test. So let us copy this test class and in an annotation package just paste it and let's give the name as before all demo test. Next click on OK. So within this before all demo test, we have a setup method, which is annotated with add before each annotation. So just comment out this. Now let us go and let's see how to use add before all annotation. And here let's create a static method, static wide. Let's give method name as setup before class. So this static method should call before creating the instance of this test class because this method is a static method. Okay. Well, within this method, we write a logic that should execute once before any test method in a test class. In this example, we can simply create an instance of calculator class. But in real time project, we write a code that share the resources among any test method in a test class. For example, establishing the database connection or starting the server or initializing the variables that should execute before any test method in a test class. Okay. So whenever you want to share the resources among any test method in a test class, then that, you know, logic you can write within this method. So for our example, we can simply create an instance of calculator class over here. So calculator I notice here method is a static. We should declare instance variable as static and then calculator equal to new calculator. Perfect. Next, let us annotate this method with at before all annotation from org junit Jupyter API package. So once we annotate method with at before all annotation, then junit will call this method once before any test method in a test class. Okay. So just to make sure that this method, this method is executing once before, you know, test methods in a test class, we can keep a system.println statement over here. So here system.println and just pass the string setup before class method is calling. Next, let us go and let's run the test case. And notice here test fast report and notice here the statements in a result setup before class method is calling. And notice here this statement is printed only once. It means this 
method which is annotated with add before all you know annotation called only once before these test methods okay next even if we execute a single test method this this you know setup before class method should call once if you can notice here test passed one and the setup before class method is calling printed only once in next lecture we'll take a look into at after all annotation all right great i will see you in the next lecture